Port in the late night hours thanks to a slow moving front and it's causing quite a bit of uh, varied weather conditions and most of it inclement closest to us in southern and central Alabama a line of strong and even the occasional severe thunderstorms pushing east of I 65 but mostly moving northeast so west central Georgia may share in some of that as well as metro Atlanta for tonight that's not coming in our direction as far as that portion goes but the overall system is going to push east as we go into the next 24 hours. As slow as the process as it may be, it will start to push at least a few developing showers into the panhandle early in the morning. Forecast and focus places scattered rain activity in the tri-state counties, maybe a few sprinkles. Also along the coast, watch for some fog even before any kind of rain arrives as that south wind will be kind of brisk, pushing some low layers of clouds and fog inland. Into the midday hour, there's a likelihood for scattered variety showers, maybe a couple of thunderstorms. Timing of this is really going to be critical in determining how many thunderstorms we can get. By afternoon, we can have at least a few hours of warming in our eastern areas, and I think that's where we could see a couple more thunderstorms, but most of them are going to stay below severe levels. As we go into late Friday, Winds change northwesterly. That means cold air comes in. There's still some lingering clouds and moisture, and that can support some drizzly cold conditions for Friday night. The rain totals through at least Saturday afternoon around one half to one inch max, and I think most of the rain begins to wind down as we go past sunrise on Saturday morning. Now, as mentioned, severe weather risk is very minimal, really no coverage areas locally tonight or tomorrow, but east of I-75 into southeast Georgia, again, warmer conditions later in the day. That's where a couple more active storms can form, but overall, you can expect maybe a couple lightning flashes and maybe some low end wind gusts, locally speaking. Our low temperatures tonight are not going to be much lower than the mid and lower 60s. And highs will vary from west to east. We'll average about 70 for highs, warmer in the Swanee and cooler in the tri-state and all of us will be cooler for Saturday and Sunday. Morning rain chances, that's what the 60% indicates for Saturday with less coverage in the afternoon, maybe a stray shower, but just have the jackets and sweaters ready, maybe even the umbrella for Monday.